mission. Boss, this contract comes from the Embelli rebel militants. That's right. That general's fighters. Recently, one of their child soldier platoons staged an insurrection and split from the main group. Thing is, they took a hostage with them. The general's Roger. Here's number two. The contract is to extract both that prisoner and the leader of the renegade platoon. The message reads, I love my brother. You must bring him back to me alive. It also says this about the leader of the child soldiers. He is an excellent soldier. I want to persuade him to rejoin the ranks of the righteous. Sounds a little too forgiving for the man who ordered those kids dead at the mine. I wonder... I wonder what kind of persuasion the General has in store. With that in mind, here are your objectives. First, rescue and return the General's number two as requested. Second, extract the renegade leader, and we'll keep him at Mother Base. In other words, extract both targets out of the region. Good luck, boss. Please select a mission. Mission accepted. Heading to Central Africa. <sighs> Clouds approaching. Clouds approaching. Thank you. 
clouds approaching. Please select a mission. Select a mission. Mission accepted. Heading to Central Africa. objectives are to extract the child soldier's commander and their captive, the General's number two. This child soldier platoon decided to break away from the Mbele militants. They took the number two captive and have occupied an abandoned village. Start by checking that location on your map. Boss, the child soldiers will treat you as an enemy, but they're just kids. See that they don't get hurt. is best conducted from high vantage points. I've marked a good spot on your map. Take a look at your eye really. The map has been updated.
marker placed. He's the rescue target. The second in command of the Embele rebel militants. He's the younger brother of the general, but he's only distinguished himself these last few years. Still, I think he got himself captured by a bunch of children. Unless he went with him of his own accord. The map has been updated. Extraction arrived at Mother Base. has died. Enemy presence detected. The map has been updated.
Support helicopter. Roger. Arrived at Mother Base. Subject on board. Leave the rest to us. Mission complete. Great work. from the Renegade platoon, and the hostage was killed in the firefight. Also, their leader wouldn't let himself be taken alive. I doubt the client will pay us for this one, but we got a big enough reward from the General's number two instead. And as for the number two, he's saying he wants to join Diamond Dogs. I guess he knows what that means for him. He said, if I'm working for you, I can be number two or number 200 for all I care. Boss, we have an emergency. Many of our staff are falling ill. At first it seemed like a common cold, but before we knew it, blisters started popping up on their chests and... Damn it. I'll fill you in at the ACC. Just get in the chopper. Look closely. Those are the symptoms of the infection on Mother Base. The blisters on the body were full of tiny worms. 
parasite larvae, most likely. But we couldn't find any adults. It doesn't seem to mature in the body, like a spargatum. We don't know the root of infection, or what causes symptoms to develop. Boss, do you remember seeing these symptoms before? The bodies floating around in the oil facility? The bedridden test subjects at the Devil's House? This epidemic looks just like what we've seen on our hunt for Cypher. So this is the weapon of mass destruction Cypher was working on in Africa. Boss, the situation is urgent. We need to quarantine the infected and contain the pathogen. Priority now is to prevent more casualties. But the problem is, how do we tell who's infected? During the incubation period, we have no way of knowing who's clean. You'll have to try and guess who's infected before they go symptomatic and quarantine them. That'd be easy if we just knew the route or vector of the infection. From now on, if you even suspect a staff member's infected, use your iDroid to order them into quarantine. Given the situation, the men won't submit to quarantine just because I or the medical team tell them to. But they will listen to you. Of course, it's just a temporary measure until we find a permanent solution. But at least they'd be in solitary isolation so they won't infect each other, and we get the mental care they need. If we do nothing, we'll only lose more people. We have no choice. Boss, open your eye droid. I'll explain how to quarantine staff members suspected of infection. Go to the mother base menu and select staff management. First, take a look at the quarantine facility we've set up. We'll isolate anyone who's already symptomatic at the quarantine facility. But we have to expect that there are multiple staff who are infected, but asymptomatic. So how do we identify them? At present, we have no way to tell them apart. But there has to be something for us to go on. If you notice anything, reassign staff you suspect are infected to the quarantine facility. We'll monitor them, and then contact you if there's a change in their condition. Correctly quarantining these asymptomatic infected will reduce the number of new infections. You should continue with your missions as usual. If Cypher is behind this, going after them should help us determine the root cause of this epidemic. Also, until we identify the pathogen, we can't fire or dispatch any staff. We cannot let this thing spread. Boss, get to the bottom of this fast. We're counting on you. Jobs come in. It's a hit. I'm the human trafficker who sent Shivani and the others to Nzoya Badia Bulu, where you ran into Skullface. The thing is, this guy might know something about the disease that's going around Mother Base. The symptoms are similar to the ones we saw at that factory. Start by checking the mission details on your iDroid. Please select a mission. symptoms of the infection on Mother Base. The blisters on the body were full of tiny worms. 
parasite larvae, most likely. But we couldn't find any adults. It doesn't seem to mature in the body, like a spargatum. We don't know the root of infection, or what causes symptoms to develop. The infection rate, along with the number of dead, are both on the rise. If we don't find the cause, and soon... <sighs> Boss, do you remember seeing these symptoms before? The bodies floating around in the oil facility? The bedridden test subjects at the Devil's House? This epidemic looks just like what we've seen on our hunt for Cypher. It could be a counterplay by Skullface. That's insane. You mean they weaponize parasites? Parasites as weapons. That definitely falls under the Biological Weapons Convention. But it's something the world would never see coming. And no one's ever developed a vaccine for parasites. So this is the weapon of mass destruction Cypher was working on in Africa? It may be. But if it is, how did the Yellow Cake and Walker Gears fit in? There must be something bigger we're not seeing. Anyway, our priority now is to prevent more casualties. The medical team is studying the infection, but we can't treat anyone until we know the root cause. All we can do right now is halt the spread of infection. Remember before, boss, when Quiet attacked one of our guys on Mother Base, stuck a knife in his mouth. He's one of the very few soldiers who've had contact with her recently. Close contact. I don't think it's a coincidence that he was among those who became symptomatic pretty early on in this epidemic. Saliva and blood spatter, an open wound, mucosal infection. Whatever is causing this got inside him then. Miller, that is a baseless accusation. The source of the infection is quiet. Everyone suspects her. We don't know that. And we've come across these symptoms before. The bodies in the water at the oil field facility. Those sick people in the beds at the Devil's House. They're identical to what we've seen while we've been after Cypher. The infection could have come from elsewhere. But at the very least, she does know something. <laughs> it's not like she's gonna talk. No, not through words, anyway. But what about her actions? Quiet held a knife to that soldier back then, before he became symptomatic. There must have been a reason for that. A reason for shoving a knife down the throat of one of our men. What if she's capable of identifying who's infected? What if she was trying to stop the infection but couldn't communicate that to us? The answer to that, the source of the infection, might be in the mouths of the infected. You think there's some kind of clue in their mouths? I don't know. But maybe there's something about the mouths of those who've become symptomatic, something in common. Something their mouths have in common. Forget it. We can't trust her. Even if she can spot the infected, I don't want her help. I understand how you feel. But this is something to go on. Can't you see it's just like I said? Bringing her here was a big mistake. Quiet is gonna be the end of us. Stand down. You've got zero proof. Try to keep an open mind on this, boss. There has to be a way to identify who's infected. Please select a landing zone. Heading to Mother Base.
Process complete. Select unit. Staff has been quarantined. All right. We'll quarantine the staff you specified. Did you figure out what's causing the infection? Analysis <sighs> complete. or from your iDroid. Think carefully about the mission's objectives before deciding who you'd better take along. If you develop specialized equipment for them, they'll be able to help you out in even more situations.
Please select a mission. Clouds, a permission accepted. Heading to Central Africa. officer who works as a human trafficker on the side. The client wants him dead. He's currently on the run somewhere on the savannah with bodyguards. Unfortunately, we don't know what route they're taking. All we have to go on is a coded transmission sent by the PDF to Tati Abandoned Village. It appears to be a workup of the target security plans, but to decipher it, we'll need an intel file with the encryption key. This key should be in the comms facility at the Tati Abandoned Village. Check your eye droid to see what the target looks like, as well as the location of the village. Find the route. Find the man. That's the target. The trafficker. He's a logistics officer for Rogue Coyote. Looks like he's hired his bodyguards from one of their competitors. Why can't he trust his own man? Something doesn't add up. The, tar the target is on the move somewhere on the savannah. Problem is, we don't know what route he's taking. It's too big a search area to cover without more information. If you can find that intel file, it could give you a lead on him. Updated. The body has infiltrated and the map has been updated.
Analysis complete. The map has been updated. was a civilian abducted by the target. He says the trafficker is trying to make contact with a human rights NGO. He hopes that by handing over his list of buyers, they'll guarantee his safety. But I don't get it. Why an NGO? Why run to someone else for help? Boss, that's a serious injury. It won't heal on its own. It won't be treated with 